Hi friends, it's that time. Ink flight. I think I got mine like later than all my friends and I have been like, no, I want it now. So we've got supplies. I have all my swatch cards ever. Um, you know, for comparison's sake, I have some of these things, which I think I don't usually use, but I use this thing. Uh, this is a paper with a notepad with notebook with Tamoa River paper, white Tamoa River. Oh God, excuse me. Oh heavens. My Hobonichi Weeks and some call o ring cards and various and diverse implements for making ink swatches and a box of fun so let's get started just dumping it all out in front of me And what do we have? First up, a feather pin. A goose quill and metal nib. Some cute corgi writable adhesive flags, this sticker that has awesome hair tentacles, and inks. So let's read. So the Goose Quill Dip Pin is from Jacques Herbin. I'm not going to read all this stuff. The Girl of All Work Book Buddies. Um, I have corgis. Apparently, there's a bunch of different styles I could have gotten. And this, splash the front of your notebook, tumbler, or laptop with the Agent Ink sticker designed by Mary Nyai. I hope I got that right. Uh, for those who might not get the reference, this character style is inspired by the Nintendo game franchise Splatoon. Super cute. And the inks. I'm not turning the paper over so that I, we can be, like, super surprised. Good job on the sticker, Maria. By sticker, I mean tape. Good job on knowing what to call things, Maria. And, oh. We have Robert Oster. Dope. Stickers not being super sticky to the bottle, but to the bubble wrap. I'm feeling like, what am I doing? I think because I'm so in like 30 inks mode right now. So this says, this month we join Australia's Robert Roster for an intoxicating flight of drinks inks. Each color, except for Blood Moon, has a spirited name. Although Robert Roster inks are non-toxic and eco-friendly, we do not recommend trying to drink them. Only nibs are allowed to sip from these vials. So we have... Whiskey. Pink squirrel or squirrel, depending on where you're from, a blue martini, brandy, detox, green lady, this is a shimmy, aka shimmer, and blood moon. This one makes me think of and, uh, well, apparently there was still some pink in this. I may have to go. I 
right, today lesson learned, but we know that's a lie. So let's get going. I usually do write with a dip pen. So we're gonna do one with it, my normal dip pen to set the bar, so to speak. And then go with, and we'll try this uh, quill. See how we like it. This is also Claire Fontaine, made in China. Seems kind of impractical. You know what? Y'all, this is right-handed. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. So many things are needlessly handed and gendered. Um, okay, boop. Let's get going. First up, whiskey. me think of so many people. My boss is a connoisseur. I have a better piece of fabric to clean with. So we have, they have spelled it with an E, good to know. How you spell it is depends on where you are and what it is, I think. Okay, I just got back from a walk and I, I always check my mail when I'm coming back in and this was in the box. I was like, yeah, yeah, exciting. I gotta be honest, my brandy and whiskey, the actual spirits are pretty much the same color. So I'm curious to see how the inks are going to vary. I think I probably won't use my automatic pen actually because I already am getting a paintbrush dirty and let's have one less thing to clean. Why don't we? So this to me, did I say this? I don't think I said it. Inspired by the amber brown color of barrel aged whiskey liquor, this ink goes down smooth with warm toasted notes, as does some whiskey. <laughs> Not the higher proof stuff, that, does, that goes down like Toxicity, ah, uh, bummer. Okay, next up, pink squirrel. This creamy cocktail drink appears pink thanks to creme de noyal. What is that? I can't remember what noyal is. Some kind of nut, I think. Uh, the ink has a pinkish purple base with blue undertones. Yeah. 
Y'all is super awkward to write with. Not good for this lefty. I tried everyone. Lesson learned, never try. Let me be honest. I kind of don't doubt that the cocktail is actually this color. Which, for the record, is not pink. Source. Me. Whose hair is a shade of pink. And whose shirt is a shade of pink. So, that doesn't make me an expert in pink. But it doesn't make me not an expert. Does that make sense? Some For some value of sense that is incredibly nonsensical. I suppose it is maroonish. It's pink adjacent to me. Probably depends on the paper. Next up, am I doing all the right things? Let's hope so is Blue Martini. Have your pen taste this refreshing deep blue with pale violet undertones and a hint of black sheen. Well, I'm here for a blue that's not, that sheens, but it's not pink or red. I got fancy. Did you see it? Whoo! Look at that fanciness. <laughs> um, I, for the record, have not had any of these that appear to be mixed drinks. I've had none of them by name. I have had brandy and whiskey. Have I had just straight brandy? I'm not sure. Maybe. may have picked up too much ink because it felt like there wasn't enough so then I was like more please let's do more how about more today is Friday and I'm here for it I usually do twitch streams on Fridays but I don't know if I'm going to tonight because of reasons And my current plan is to spend a whole lot of money this weekend on something I don't really need but really want. Some of you know what that is. Others who don't know, go ahead and make a guess. Those of you who do know, maybe don't spoil it. But, you know, it's just a maybe. See if we get black sheen in this. I'm enjoying this pink squirrel color for the record so far. You can't see it, it's there. Um, next up, Brandy. That's the name of one of my cousins. She's not really my cousin. Is she? Wait, yes she is. She is second cousin 
my mom's niece's daughter. I think she had this, has the same birthday that my brother had. But I'm not really sure, and I don't feel like asking my mom right now. Because, you know. I think she does roller derby. Not my mom. My cousin. Who I haven't seen since I was a child. <laughs> Y'all who, like, have many cousins, how often do you see your family? And do they live near you? Most of my family doesn't live, live near me. So it's weird. You know, you know how these things happen. Or you don't know. You don't know and you're sitting there like, what kind of monster hasn't seen one of her cousins since she was a kid? This monster, y'all, this monster. What I should should do before this is over is just like go down. Yeah, we're gonna do that, okay? Yeah. Y'all feel free to guess what it is we're going to do before this that I just agreed to in my head. You can put a timestamp and say, I guess this. Or not put a timestamp and I'll just believe you. We have that kind of trust here. Um, did I read Brandy? This ink has a caramel hue inspired by the color of brandy aged in oak barrels. Next is Detox. This looks like one of those swamp colors. You know what I'm talking about, right? Some of you know. And you're like, yes, I'm here for it. And some of you are like, do you mean baby diarrhea? We'll see. Um, look who is starting to write swamp. We'll make it a D. doesn't look like an X. I don't like writing my X's that way. I think it's supposed to be the way, but that's not the way for me. Let's just make it look like that, which is slightly more X-y. Look, I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> For the morning after, this blend of deep greens looks like a veggie-laden hangover remedy. There's got to be a morning after. Some of you right now are thinking of a South Park episode. <laughs> Some of you right now are like, how do we make her never sing again? Maybe all of you. Don't worry, I already regret it. So far, I kind of have a one of these things is not like the other vibes going on here. Then we have Green Lady Shimmy. This ink is best shaken. I suppose they mean and not stirred. So you can get the minty shimmer particles throughout the lime green cover, color, color, not cover, Maria, color, green lady. I'm just going to call it green lady. I'm not writing shimmy. You can't make me because you're not here.
lime green. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. Okay, we gotta shake it again if we want the shimmy. Minty shimmer. You ever think about the color that we call mint looks nothing like mint? It just kind of dawned on me right now. I don't know what color they mean. Same thing with us calling things lime green that are really like not the color of limes. This is pretty limey in that sense. To me, it's a little lacking in the yellow, but maybe my limes aren't ripe enough. <laughs> so far, I'm not seeing much shimmer. And last, but certainly not least, Robert Oster Blood Moon. This ink's deep crimson red color is inspired by a total lunar eclipse. And Eclipse is the name of a really fantastic song from Pink Floyd, thanks. Why did this one have to be like the one where I wrote really poorly? Because I was hurrying, because I was excited maybe. It's fine. We're gonna fix it with the other dip pen and it's gonna be okay, Maria. You're allowed. Thank you. This one feels highly lubricated. I got some on me. Actually, now it is feeling like a different one of these things. It's not like the other. Based on how things are drying. Oh, yeah. It certainly makes me think of blood. Got that down. Ooh, the water looks pickly. Not, not quite like pickle juice, which is usually a little more neon, but you know, like the color of a good pickle. All right, so we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna pause, let these dry mo while I clean up some watery things and we'll look at it and maybe do some comparisons if I feel like it, no promises. Okay, they've, they've dried some. So we have Blood Moon. I think the text is still kind of mushy. Green Lady, Detox, Brandy, Blue Martini, Pink Squirrel, and Whiskey. We we'll also have it here in the weeks and upside down and backwards. And this other Tomorrow River paper. So Pink Squirrel, I kind of love. It's a great purple. 
And I do feel like we got something kind of like detox, but the problem is at least uh, many of my samples are in my um, little compartment for 30 inks, so I don't have them all here at hand. Um, yeah, this one came to mind. Got green. And here's bamboo shoots, which is kind of like between those two in some ways. Here's Peter Moss. And I feel like what was that other ink that was that color? Did Amanda give it to me and therefore it's in here? Did she make me do it? Was it Mephisto? It reminds me of Mephisto. which might be in here somewhere. Let's look. I think that was the name of it. Wasn't that a wearing goal? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Blood Moon is browner. Okay, so then the other one I thought of was Rider's Blood. Blood Moon is definitely more like blood than this purple magenta burgundy ink is. Uh, if we want to see it next to Pink Squirrel. And then Blue Martini, I don't know, it's blue. Off the top of my head, maybe a bit like, like Tsukio, but lighter. Tsukio is a little greener. KSL V2 is a little bluer. More, this is more like a shade. Um, and for our last two comparisons, um, here's some whiskey. We'll get you a better, whiter background here. And whiskey, I mean, they're similar. I have even less brandy. But if we compare the colors of the brandy and the whiskey, they are like really similar in color. And the brandy compared to the brandy, this is way more saturated. And actually the brandy is a really good match for the color of my whiskey. So not a solid like knock it out of the park, but pretty close. And we'll look at these closer up um, in the... Uh, on the Tamar River papers. So here it is. And here it is on the white. Um, I prefer this on the white paper, the pink squirrel. And I think the, maybe the green lady, definitely the blood moon. But I think the 
detox and whiskey and brandy really benefit from having a, a cream paper personally. So that is this month's September 2023 ink flight. Um, kind of sad that that pen is right handed, but like, yo, know, most of the world is, I'm not going to fault anybody for that. And it's, it's definitely the kind of thing that a right handed person wouldn't think about. Um, so do you have a favorite of these? Do you get ink flight? Um, I'm kind of starting to think that maybe, maybe I'll stop getting ink flight at the end of the year or something. I, I'm not using my samples and the goodies have not been all hits with me. Um, but also whatever, it's fun. So who knows? I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.